Hi, this is Numeric Citizen here. In today's video, I want to talk about craft spaces and how I'm using them to organize my content. When you first open up Craft for the very first time, and um, Craft will create for you a default space where all the content, the documents, the folders uh, will reside. Um, over time, as you add more content to your to your space, um, you'll probably use uh, folders uh, in order to organize documents uh, together. Um, but eventually, as you add even more content to your uh, default uh, space, you may find out that there should be a better way to organize your content. Uh, maybe it's for creating a specific uh, project where you would like to um, put all related documents to this project within a, a new environment. Um, so that's why uh, Craft allows uh, us to create different spaces. And in those spaces, um, they act pretty much like the same, the default one, uh, where you create folders, you can link document within a single space, and um, you, you, you switch uh, between spaces uh, very easily using uh, the uh, user interface to do so. So I'll show you how uh, I'm actually uh, working with space uh, for my own needs. So in my uh, craft environment right now, uh, what you're seeing there on the top left uh, uh, icon, this is the default craft space where I did put a, my, uh, I, my uh, avatar on that space. And then beneath that, there is a few pin, it, pin uh, space uh, where I can switch between them just by clicking on them. Um, so if I go in this uh, kind of a um, uh, space switcher, uh, this is the default one, which is called my private space. Uh, I don't think there's a way for um, me to rename this this one. The other one um, has been created afterward, and um, they, 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 they fill a different purposes. So there's one called Numeric Citizen IO. If I go on that one, this space was created in order for me to replicate one of my website that is currently hosted on a web service. And I'd like to leave uh, this uh, place and eventually move that to uh, craft uh, by using the share page feature. So I tried to recreate uh, this website within um, craft and um, I like the end result but in order to achieve that I, I created a space because I didn't want to um, mix uh, the documents uh, for this website with all my the rest of my content um, so I created a different space for that so as you can see this is the main page of uh, this uh, future website uh, there's even one uh, somebody who wrote a, a comment on the actual website and then I responded later. So it's pretty self-content uh, within this uh, Unix space. As you can see on the left, there is only two folders. One is a uh, work in progress and the other one is uh, has been created autom automatically by uh, Craft when I imported uh, markdown files um, during the process of re recreating this website. So that's one of the reasons where uh, I decided to create a different space. There's another one, it's called Inbox. In the Inbox, there's three folders. One is Clips, uh, two others are the Digital Garden, and the, the last one is for NCI. Those folders um, are available within the iOS or iPadOS share sheet as I'm uh, sharing um, bookmarks uh, with craft I can select in which folder I want to store a bookmark of interest for me and depending on the the use uh, I plan to do with those bookmarks 
um, I may select to, uh, to save it for uh, my digital garden or save it for a future uh, edition of my uh, Numeric Citizen introspection newsletter. Um, so the uh, inbox space is, for, is a kind of a, a temporary storage where I uh, store bookmarks while I'm um, uh, navigating on the web, when I'm uh, surfing on the web and, or reading articles. The clips uh, folder is used by a, a, a shortcut where the full article from a web page is being saved uh, within uh, this specific folder and as you can see there is a the full content is actually automatically generated by the shortcut and saved within the uh, inbox uh, space within craft so all the things that get saved into the space I don't want them to be mixed up with the rest of my content in my default space so that's why I created this specific space for kind of a, a a temporary space again to process those references or those big bookmarks in the future and there is also a, a, um, a space which I called uh, for testing purposes so this is the place where when there is a new release of craft and I want to test a few uh, documents uh, formatting options or new features uh, then I'll create a, a phony or kind of fake documents where I can test uh, those formatting options like you can see here on my um, on this page uh, in this document so that's why I have a different um, space for that uh, it doesn't cost lo uh, anything to create space so there's it's very easy to do so let me show you how we can create a space so if I go in the space switcher kind of and I hit new space I can select a space to be in the cloud where all the features will be available to me uh, like the collaboration feature or I can select uh, to store the craft documents within that space on my uh, specific computer so there is no sync um, um, available there is no uh, collaboration uh, feature available in that kind of space where it's a uh, stored on an external location so I, I prefer to use a, a synced a full experience so I can give it a name demo create it's very fast and eventually you will come back and then I can decide to invite people if I want to collaborate on that I can invite up to uh, five people in this uh, space either I'm using the, their email address or I can enable the invite link and then I can share this invite link to other people so for now I'll skip that and I have my space there I can change the uh, icon I'm using for that I can uh, drag and drop a, uh, a picture a photo and then I can also uh, this is the place where I can delete the space and it's very easy to do um, it will ask me to enter a question to make sure that I'm not making a mistake because it's not recoverable so my, my space has been deleted so as you can see it's pretty easy to uh, or, uh, use uh, space to organize uh, documents there's a few things you need to know uh, the first thing is that when you are within a uh, space if I go there and I enter uh, this document which is a table of all the tools and services I'm using as a content creator if I want to uh, make a reference to um, another document sitting in a different space it's not possible so I cannot do a cross space references like if I use the at sign all the documents there are the ones that are sitting or the pages are the ones sitting within that uh, space itself so that's kind of um, uh, can, it could be a deal breaker for some people uh, for now as my spaces are pretty much well separated uh, uh, between uh, between them um, I didn't run into issue I didn't run into this issue of uh, not being able to, to cross-link documents within uh, between two, two spaces but for some people I understand that it could be an issue so that's a problem uh, with space the other problem is if I tap I enter command O um, there is uh, the find option if I 
go there and I, and I, I type this uh, keyword, um, all the search happens within the same uh, space. So again, I cannot do cross spaces uh, searching. Um, I'm guessing this is because uh, the way Craft uh, Backend is implemented in the cloud. I, I'm not sure uh, if, the, if that's the real reason, but uh, it's pretty sad that we cannot do cross spaces uh, searches in, the, in Craft. Uh, the, the other thing that you need to know is that if you share or invite people to your space, um, those people will need to accept the invitation first and then after doing that, uh, they can make uh, all the changes they want into your documents sitting in that specific space. So you have to be aware of that. Uh, guesses are not only read -only, are not read only people, uh, they actually can make uh, changes to your um, uh, space where you invite people into. Um, so that's the things I wanted to know let, to let you know in order for you to consider how you might use spaces within your own uh, setup or uh, your own craft environment. Um, I also for, kind of forgot to mention that there is a, something else that is missing when you are working with many spaces within craft. Uh, if I go in the default one here and then I want to take this, this document, for example, and then I want to drag it to another space, uh, there is no way for me to do that um, that way. The other way we can do that is uh, right-clicking on the document and I, I can select Move To and then I'll be able to uh, select either the folder where I want to put this document or I can select another space and then move the document this way. Uh, what is strange that though is that if I can right click there but if I go in the navigation there and I do a right click on this I cannot have access to the move to option uh, which I kind of find of annoying. Uh, Either uh, I cannot also move that document and drop it on the space icon there. So it's pretty uh, kind of a, um, annoying for me to not able uh, to move things around within my spaces. So that's pretty much it for today's video about how you can use craft spaces in order for you to organize your content. Um, I hope you learn a few things uh, along the way. Uh, if you like the video, just hit like on the on YouTube or uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, expect more videos coming in the in the uh, in the coming days or weeks. Um, so thank you very much for watching. See you later, guys.